Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Outer Plane. So, uh, I will do the Deeps video for 15. I've just been focusing on a few of the things first. Um, so first and foremost, I just want to show you my quirk stuff. We are going to do uh, precise craft. I just want to show you what it looks like. I finally have enough materials, I think, for two pieces, right? Oh, I have to click on the actual thing. Oh, I have enough for three. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good to know. Okay, I hope that that's the only material I need, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, as you can see, for uh, counteract strong enemies, which is pretty much all you need late game. Well, that's not true. The class enhancement and element enhancement definitely helps. But, I mean, it just it just takes forever to upgrade these. Oh, we know they're about the same, honestly. Hmm. The problem is that now I have five elements to worry about, and then I also have two different classes to worry about for each. So ten different class. Yeah. So the, that's the problem with the class enhancement. The elements enhancement. Um. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just based on element, right? So really, I would just get the first five nodes and then do all of this and be done with it. Just like what I did with this, except this I'm going all the way because. 3% damage increase every time. That is ridiculous. So good. So that's why I say it's the only one I really need. Um, it also increases my skill damage by a lot. How much actually? 15, 15, 35. Wait, so 70 plus 30, 100% skill chain damage increase. Wow. Um... Increase break, so 5%. So all, all of the ones that look the same, you can tell because they're the same color. Um, they have the same effects, basically. Not all of the uh, quirks are the, that way. It's just that this one works this way. 5, 5, 5. So 5 times 4 is 20% increase in damage that would target inflicted with break. That is disgusting. 3% um, evasion and then 5%. So 16% uh, decrease in evasion. I will take that. Um, purple. Oh yeah, it's the break. So now it's just the blue, which is or the dark blue, I guess, not the light blue. Resilience by four percent, and then six. Okay, so twenty percent decrease in resilience, which is insane. So yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I would say obviously the break. Sorry, the skill chain damage is the the best one. One hundred percent skill chain damage increase is ridiculous. Um, it does make this chain skill a lot more viable as a damage dealer rather than just a, um, you know, weakness gauge dedu deductor. Like, it just takes off the weakness gauge so you can put them into the break stage. Um, and then you would have all your ultimates, like, you plan for that. But now you can just willy-nilly with the <laughs> chain skill because it's 100% increase. So you're pretty much doing twice as much damage. Um, also... If they have break so if you're able to put them into break state before you use the chain skill it's just devastating right so that is what i've been working on so actually very good for me it's been super nice i did do some class enhancement um just for just for striker stuff just just because striker is your damage dealers and so are mages so if anything upgrade those first um because it'll just be much more helpful right it's just, it'll exponentially increase your damage as you upgrade all right um so let's do some precise craft stuff i don't, I don't know how this works when changing the confirmed gear piece oh okay so we do yeah so we do chest um health piece okay uh health oh okay so you wait wait How much is this gonna cost? What the fuck? I would just rather do legendary guaranteed at this point. This is just way too much. What the hell? Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say. If it was six. Okay, so you need around um, 1100. A little bit more than. So yeah, like I would say 1200 if effectium in order to um, get your piece and unique stat, which doesn't matter because I 
picked life set, which is funny because... Oh yeah, it, I guess it just selects your main stat for you anyway. That's kind of dumb. Why why don't we allow you to pick the main stat? Um, can I... I mean, health, accuracy, and attack. This is actually pretty good, I'm not going to lie. You kind of want uh, like an increase in everything, really. You already have a big increase in health. You know what? It's only 2 million gold, yeah. Okay, so this is fine. It's not the greatest thing I would I thought it would be. It's very expensive, honestly. It does not s Oh, wow. Yeah, they're going to They put it behind the 30-day timer. What Okay, well this is absolutely useless. Like, why would you do this when there is literally this? Or you could just do legendary guaranteed and obviously you don't always and you need to use abrasive as well but you get enough of this like why would i need to go through all of that if it's already going to give me a random main stat and random normal stats like it's literally useless that they added that to the game the only thing it's helpful for is probably early game because you can get a really good six star legendary piece from that um early game if you're able to collect enough effectium but I mean, I've been doing the battles and I still took damage. It's not like I didn't. I didn't go below like two thirds of my health for any of my characters, but I mean, I think you would still have to be, I still have at least have a couple of four stars in order to beat level three. Cause I'm on level four of the, um, here of the Terminus Island. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. Right. I just have to go to uh, adventure. Oh, nope. Not adventure. Um, oh, they don't have, what? I didn't realize that, but, uh, I feel like the adventure button should bring you here. It just does not make sense that it brings you straight to adventure. <laughs> they need to fix that a little bit. So yeah, I'm on stage four. Um, so I'm getting a decent amount of effectium. Definitely not enough that I would call it. Well, I think I get a decent amount more too. So I get around 500 if I complete this. You can also just do retry. The reason I moved on to stage 4 is because I definitely have enough power for it. Um, yeah, I haven't used any of these things. But they seem pretty cool. Immediately complete all active explorations. That is kind of dumb. Because you can do this for 150. Which is much easier. Like, you're not going to be on the game 24-7. So you just let it sit and do its thing. All right, well, I wanted to show you Precise Craft, but I guess they kind of screwed over how that works, and it's pretty much useless in my opinion. I don't even... The only reason you should do the Terminus Island is for the quirk stuff now, and even then it just takes a while to grind that. Getting Effectium is actually easier. <laughs> so I don't know what they're trying to do with that, but um, do something to fix it, because that is just not it. <laughs> like, that's not doing anything for the game. I mean, it gives you a free legendary piece, so you can't really blame them, but it's like, really? And that's what you're going to give me? Just one legendary piece? Um, I guess we can do some reforge stuff. I did want to do some uh, breakthrough stuff for my weapons, so we'll do that as well. So it's all gear that I'm doing in this video. Mostly to show you the precise craft. Um... But also just to show you some cool uh, late game stuff that you would be doing. This is very slow by the way. I'm spam clicking this. And it's going to take me like around 30 seconds. I guess you just be instant. You don't need a whole ass animation. I get it. <laughs> okay, crit chance increased actually. That's very good. So that means that I can use this health piece not only for healers but also for like some bruisers some defenders like i only need two health pieces this time instead of four and i could give them like damage or defense or counter attack or literally any fucking anything else <laughs> i'm not gonna do stat change because i don't have a lot of these um actually oh it changes all sub stats never mind <laughs> okay now let's go to weapons so let's uh Let's finish breaking or reforging you.
because it's already maxed. Oh yeah, 20... Wait, what does this do? Oh, okay, my my uh, defenders are going to be having a decent amounts of damage. I mean, 24% increase in damage and they already get a 1200 increase in attack. Holy cow. And they get the 12% crit damage as well. This is a very good stats for... And health. And yeah, this is very good for... This is so good, so good. This is so good. Uh... Um, 50% chance to inflict mark, 50% chance to increase defense, priority, we do need another striker piece, but I do want the, um, defense piece, because that's the only other health piece I use, <laughs> so, uh, break through you, alright, we can't add more than that, okay, so I broke through to the max, uh, can I reforge this all the way? Hopefully I can. Let's see. Oh no, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it gets very... Oh no, no, I think I'm fine, yeah. It's only 30 up to the third star. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I just did a piece. I should realize that. <laughs> it's kind of funny that I didn't. Yeah, crit chance, resilience, effectiveness, and defense. It's like, you don't really see resilience and effectiveness on a lot of pieces. So I could change some stats actually you know what let's just do a full stat change oh yeah i'll take that oh over anything speed increase by 12 oh yeah okay um now here's the funny thing right if we do breakthrough on the weapons i can't do more than two but if i go to the amulets and i go break wait Wait, why can't I use the event, uh... Wait a second. Because I have all of these. Ah, oh, okay. It's only gear from the shot. Oh, okay, I see. Wait, wait, wait. So that means... You could only do 5-star equipment? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, so Princess's Resolve. Oh, that's a 30% increase, actually. I'll definitely break through that. Oh, because you can use other pieces. Oh, that makes a lot more sense, actually. So I have four of them I can break through? Okay, I'm okay with that. I have enough for three, actually. Never mind. So that one is a fine to break through. Uh, wait, this one doesn't... Yeah, that's not one. This is the normal token. Charmer's Necklace. Nope. Charmer's Necklace. Nope. 10% damage when granted above 49% health, though. Oof. That is a very good buff. So, sort of Defenders. Hmm. See, because the thing is... I could just have this. Oh, no, but it doesn't matter, because they would, they would just have the most health, right? This when removing a debuff, yeah, that does, literally does not matter. When an enemy counter to, I mean, that's actually pretty decent. Ooh, penetration. Oh, no, but poison. You can inflict it with a debuff, but this one isn't the, uh, yeah. That's not an equipment piece. You have to look for, like, Church of Nepo Scripture, Hierarch Resolve. Like, these ones, operating system, like... They have different names. Charmer's Necklace, no. Clock Up, no. Um, Overdrive, no. Like these Eternal Galatia. Oh no, this one is definitely. Innocent Play is also one, right? Wait. Yeah, it is also one, okay. So it's, it's only pieces that you get from. I mean, they're giving you basically the ability to max them out for free, so. Hey. I'm not really gonna complain about that, right? Hmm, yeah, you know what? This is the better one to break through. It just is. 20% damage increase when granted a buff. That is fucking ridiculous. 60% increase in health, too. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a 5-star legendary equipment. That's why I'm like, what in the flying beep? All right, wait, wait. And look at the reforge. Like, if I had health piece, this would be so insane. Or health stat, substat, that'd be insane. Uh, okay, so the last one would be operating system. 
please be okay yes thankfully critical hit chance four percent by every turn up to 20 percent critical hit chance increase that is 27 percent penetration wow and four percent oh i have to break i have to break through this i mean reforge this i have to oh wait it's already max reforge never mind uh i wish i could hmm fortunately i cannot do that <laughs> i wanted to put more into speed because that would have been better but hey it's fine i think that's gonna do it for today very short video but i just wanted to show you uh gear stuff here's my updated gear too since i've been doing the uh later floors as you can see of the um deeps i've been getting these uh six star talismans which is very good for me problem is that now i have to switch uh, some of my gems and that's going to take a little bit of reorganizing and shifting around um but yeah i mean 30 percent action points when attacking all enemies is fucking ridiculous because you already gain like 10 or 20 ap points when you take your turn so that's like eight that's already the first ap card on your turn just by attacking aoe Oh, and then the 10 chain points when attack scores a critical hit is so dumb. And it's a 12% team attack increase. Oh my goodness. I forgot that these have team buffs. I completely forgot. <laughs> Alright, 10%. 12% damage increase is a little dumb. I'm sorry, devs. But that is... Um, Yeah, and then these are the other equipment. So I got... uh Epsilon's... Or Kasai, yeah, Epsilon, right? That's her name. I'm not dumb, am I? Yeah, yeah, Epsilon. So I got her weapon because, as you can see, it do hit hard. <laughs> or when I be hit, it do hit hard back. <laughs> Increases priority by 50% when hit by an attack that targets all enemies. You want to know why they specifically made a gear, so many gear pieces. There are when attacking all enemies or here, here. recovers 37% action points when hit by an attack that targets all allies. So as you know, AOEs are very common in this game. So Epsilon is now going to gain 50% priority whenever your teammate takes a turn and they're counterattacked. So think about it. If they are counterattacked, they like your team, your entire team, and it, it happens on every time one of your teammates attacks. You, this character will literally have 20% because it also happens on her. Well, I guess she takes her turn already. So no, but then her turn isn't over until after the enemy team counterattacks and then the turn switches. So maybe the 50% priority still includes on her team on her turn which if that's the way it works that means she gets a 200 percent priority increase she basically gets two extra turns with her own exclusive equipment it's kind of dumb it's kind of dumb if not two extra turns she gets at least one i mean 50 percent priority increase is completely dumb right <laughs> so yeah that's crazy um yeah and then she also does some pretty cool stuff with barrier stuff so yeah all in all doing pretty good on the equipment side um i still wish in order for equipment to be completely balanced that they would make it a lot easier in order to get special gear it's just really hard it takes fucking a month to get one piece like it just takes so long and then in order to get the gems it takes again well i guess you could do it while you're grinding while you're just waiting <laughs> yeah um anyway i think that's it for the video Thank you all for watching as always, AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe, really shows your support. Helps me out, keeps today my content. 207 subscribers this time I check, so y'all are amazing, keep going. Yeah, uh, the deep stage will release today, promise you that. Not gonna fumble on that one, I just have to change gear again to my fire heroes instead of my water heroes. Um, cause I was doing some Terminus Island stuff, so I need water heroes. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.